All right, guys, welcome back um, to Everything Business, right? And today I'll be looking at question three. Yes, so we're today I'm going to be looking at question three, right? Yes, last evening I would have looked at question two, provide a solution for question two for the 2023 POA paper. And now this is question three, right? So you might want to check it out, right? Remember to leave a comment, like, subscribe, share, Right. Tell me what you think about this question. Tell me how you did. Right. I'm, I'm curious to find out. All right. So let's go. Now, question three is all about a manufacturing account. Right. So they give you a manufacturing account here. Right. As a matter of fact, the question doesn't really start um, with the manufacturing account, really. You know, right. You really working out the manufacturing account. But I, I, I did it so that you can see and it can flow. All right. So this is the manufacturing account. You would have been given the opening balances. For the 1st of May 2022, you would have been given some information here during the year um, 2023, right? And also the end of the year, right? The closing balances. So you know that for the manufacturing account, if you realize they draw it up for you, so that's great, right? They give you the heading just the same. Um, so you know you're not going to get any mark for the heading, right? And so you start off with your opening stock of raw material, which is 23,000. Then you add your purchases of raw material, you add your carriage inwards, which is 2000 and then that will give you your cost of raw materials available, right? Now, you subtract your closing um, stock of raw materials, which is 33000 and that will give you your cost of raw materials consumed. You know, the, raw, the cost of raw materials consumed is what they, requ they required for you to show. So they, 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 here, right, is where they ask you to do the manufacturing account. And they made four requirements, especially. They ask you to show clearly cost of raw materials consumed, prime cost, total overheads, production cost, right? That is what they ask you to show. So I normally tell my students, you know, when they ask you to show something, you can put it in all caps or you can underline it to highlight it, to show it clearly, all right? So your cost of raw materials consumed is to 298000 Right, you could all caps this or you could underline it just to highlight it for them to see. Then you're gonna add your factory wages, right? And if you look in the manufacturing, um, if you look in, 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 in the information here, right, it says factory wages and 60% of the factory wages are direct. So you have to now calculate 60% of the 123,000 that's right here, right? So you have to do that. And that is how I got the 73,800 royalties is also direct cost that should go right there, right? And you add all of these now, all of all your direct costs, so you get your prime cost, right? So again, you can highlight your prime cost because they ask for it, you can put it in all caps or you can underline it. If you don't highlight it, right? It's not like you're gonna lose the mark. You're not gonna lose the mark for it because they will clearly see that it's right there, but it's just that you need to have it. For some persons, some persons don't, um, don't put in the prime cost. So if you don't write prime cost there, then you will lose the mark for that. And if you don't write um, cost of raw material consumed, then you would lose the mark. All right? Yeah. So you add overheads. Now, factory wages, the remainder of factory wages, the 40% that would that was remaining, because it says that 60% of the factory wages are direct and the rest are indirect, right? So the remainder of the factory wages would go right here. 49,200 rates and insurance, right? The rates and insurance, um, it says that rates and insurance are to be apportioned four to one between the factory and the office. So if you work out the ratio here now, right? So to the factory is supposed to be four fifths should go to the factory. How do you get four fifths, sir? You add the four plus the one, right? That gives you five. So four out of five should go to the factory and one out of five should go to the office. Right, so you would say four divided by five multiplied by forty-five thousand, and that is how I would have gotten the thirty-six thousand. Then you have general expenses, right? They said that three thousand five hundred of the general expenses should go to the office, so you would subtract it from and the remainder to the factory, so you would subtract the three thousand five hundred from the fourteen thousand to get the ten thousand five hundred. Then you add up these three and you get your total factory overhead, right, which is ninety-five seven hundred. Normally, I would not show total factory overhead. But because they asked for me to clearly show it, I, 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 I have to clearly show it. So I put the information in another line and indicate it there. Then I add 
my total factory overheads to my prime cost, right? And this would have been the, the production cost had we not been given um, work in progress. Since we're given work in progress, the rule is, or the principle is that we have to now add work, opening work in progress and less closing work in progress. And then we will end up with a production cost CD, 46,469,500. ,000, all in all, it was not a difficult manufacturing question, right? Uh, a good accounting student should be able to at least get 10 out of 12 for this. And an average accounting student should at least be able to get six out of the 12, right? So you should be able to pass this manufacturing question. And then now, this is how the question actually begins, right? So they ask you to identify two examples of direct costs, direct material, direct labor. labor. You can give you examples there. Then the next question asks you to identify two examples of, three examples of indirect costs. They have factory rent, lighting of the, lighting of the factory, cleaners pay, right? Anything relating to the factory, right? Um, unless they tell you otherwise, we can assume that it's indirect cost. So you may see depreciation of factory, um, factory equipment or depreciation of this, depreciation of factory, you know, factory rent, stuff like that. All of that, right, is indirect or indirect cost. And then now we move to this, calculate the net sales figure. And um, this is a very easy one, Mark. So you said net sales is net sales equal sales minus returns inwards. Right, so it's 658,500 minus 1,600, and you get the 656,900. That's a net sales figure. Now, in this question, they're asking about accounting principles or concepts, right? Um, so they say Chevron, the owner of the business, paid 2,300 for insurance, and this amount covered the 1,200 insurance premium, right? Yeah, so the insurance, the insurance amount covered the 1,200 insurance premium on Chevron Manufacturing Company and the 1,100 insurance premium on Chevron's family house. Now, the accountant credited the bank account with 2,300, debited the insurance expense account with 1,200, and debited the joint account with 1,100. Now, question, um, the, the question says, identify the business, the accounting principle applied by the accountant in this transaction. And the accounting principle or concept that is used, utilized here is a business entity concept, which states that you must keep personal matters and business matters, financial matters separate, right? So yeah. Then the next part, the accountant did not make any entries in the accounting records for orders received for goods to be supplied in the next financial year on May 13th. And the question is, identify the accounting principle that the accountant has applied, which is the realization concept, right? And so basically, that's it, right? Um, that's question three. Let me know how you did on question three in the comment section below, right? Um, you can give, you can let me know your answers. So if you want me to, you know, tell you if they, if they would work, yes or no, all right? And I'll post tomorrow question the solution for question four. So stay tuned and share with your friends, right? So in the meantime, guys, walk good and take care.